Rebecca. <laughs> Welcome to the show. How lovely to see you finally in person. Do you get, do you, I heard that. Uh, I heard, yeah, I was going to. Do people uh, say that a lot? Have, have you? It, well, they, no, they don't admit to all of that. They don't? No. They don't admit to the whole doodah that happens. It, was, it wasn't necessarily doodah. <laughs> no, it was doodah. No, you're right. It was doodah. Have you still. I, I hate to ask. Have you still got that uh, for a bikini? Um, actually, I do. Really? Yes, I do. I know. I kept all of my, you know, the, my body kind of uh, costumes over the years, really, honestly, because you, they built them just especially for me. They sure did. Uh, and, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I kind of felt like I was, and I was sort of part of creating them, and so I have them, and I suppose one day I will sort of form a little mini museum of, you know, that really? Myra Breckenridge and the one million years BC girl and the priestess of the whip and priestess all. of the whip, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you're talking. Uh, I think there's actually a club called Priestess of the Whip up in West Hollywood somewhere up there. <laughs> no, it's like, now tell me about about the show that you're doing on CBS. Is it? Uh, uh, Oh, the captain. Yeah. Um, yes, well, the captain actually refers to the building, which is El Capitan. And it's a special building because it's kind of a landmark building in old Hollywood that in the 30s was where all the big stars and so forth stayed, oh. especially when they were starting out in the business. And so now it's today. And um, today we have like all this. Well, we, it's a sort of a loosely knit family. Yes. And uh, I am one of the people in the building. I am. You play a, the Hollywood star, obviously. I, I play a Hollywood star who is sort of, you know, now, um, you know, not so young anymore. That's and so ridiculous. The casting is all wrong. <laughs> it's wrong. Doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, you know, it, I, I look good until I'm standing next to a 19-year-old, and yeah. then it's not so. I, I, we all look good until we're standing next to a 19-year-old, and then, and then there's but, the whole, you know, five years. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, the, no, the, uh, the, the, now you've you've been working in Hollywood for for a number of years. Well, yeah. it's, 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 you're uh, very things kind different not to for, tell the, for the young the young stars then the young ladies. Oh uh, well, mm hmm. Because you've got the TMZ yeah, now and everything, they're following you around. Yes, that's it? right. There wasn't, there wasn't so much of that. In fact, when I was in Europe making quite a number of pictures, because One Million Years BC, actually, my breakthrough film was actually done in the Canary Islands for a British company. Right. And we worked out of a BPC Studios. You maybe remember that. It's over... Yes, yes. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Oh, you're... Oh, you're s he's so much younger than I am. <laughs> that's why. Um, no, not really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've still got the poster, by the way. If you've still got the bikini, I still have the poster. Oh. It's in my office. Oh, well, maybe I could... Uh... Come and see it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm only... I'm, I'm only could, kidding. I don't I have an office. I autograph yeah. it. You autograph... He, well, he autographed his book for me, and that was very nice. Yes, sir. Yeah. But actually, I've already read the book, so now I can pass it along to somebody else. Oh, well, that's nice. Yes, oh, re he's, he's quite... He, <laughs> <laughs> you gifting? That's all right. Oh, no, I'm Are gonna, you a very frugal no, person? I'm, no, <laughs> I'm going I'm to keep the one with your inscription on oh, it from and give myself, the from right. Wamem, yes. But the other one that I read, I don't know if I dog-eared it or not, though. But anyway, I could pass that along, because you're, you're really a very accomplished writer. I was Thank quite, you very much indeed. No, really, it, yeah. it was very... It was a, Did, I could read out the dirty bits to you if you want to get oh. <laughs> It's funny because as I was reading it, I was I watched the show and I was reading the book because it got good reviews and I like to read. So I'm reading along and I'm thinking, I, I, I can't figure this guy out. Is he a theologian? Is he a kind of a romantic adventure, or is he just a sex addict? <laughs> you know, it's fair. There are fair questions. Fair questions. And I have to say, these are the questions I ask myself every morning. <laughs> Because there were a lot of dirty bits in it. There's a lot of dirty uh, bits and, and, in it. And they were quite uh, original. Do you? Oh, really? Thank you. <laughs> I, and that's just the written down stuff. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you read a lot of dirty books? <laughs> well, I, I didn't think whatever it is. It was, uh, uh, what? Be between the bridge and the river didn't that is sound the name of my too. Book, yeah. Yes, I didn't think that sounded too racy. No, no, no. But, but do, you, do you like the, the, the heaving bosom kind of bodice ripper books? You know, with Fabio on the cover? No, 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 no. 
Not yeah. so much, not so Do you, much. Is that what you look for in a man, like in a Fabio type, a big muscly kind oh, of Oh gosh, thing? no, I don't think so. Really? No, I mean, I really, the muscle ought to be up here in the brain category. Right, yeah. <laughs> By the same token, if, if he has a six-pack and a nice ass, that, that's okay too. Right, that's fine. Right, yeah. <laughs> so basically, Fabio slash Arthur Miller is basically no, what you're looking for. No, 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 actually, no offense to Fabio, but I really, he's not really my cup of tea. Not, not, not for the real thing. Right, well, what, what is your cup of tea for the real thing? Then? <laughs> Well, you know, I haven't made up my mind yet. I've been married four times, and I still haven't figured out what it is that I really want. Really? You've been married four times? I know, isn't it outrageous? It's fantastic! <laughs> it is! I've been married twice. I felt so bad about it. I feel so much better now. <laughs> no, I, mean, you know, I, I, feel, I feel it's a terrible failure. I can't figure out what, what it is that I'm not doing right or what it is I don't get. Do you, do you know what I mean? I, I, I feel like there's something that I, I should be getting, and... I and feel there's something you should be getting. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's kind of like I, I started to figure it out the other day, and I was thinking, my, the first, my first husband, Jim Welch, which is, I have two children by him, and right. that's how I got the name Welch. Right. And I kept it for the children. And, um, you know, he was the only one that I chose. The other... Three all kind of chose me and pursued me, right. and I figured he kind of. No offense to the other three, right? And they, but, they're probably um, watching as well. Yeah. <laughs> you never. Well, one of them's a frog. I mean, he's French. All right. And so he won't be watching. But um, <laughs> you know, French people are allowed to watch CBS. <laughs> oh, no. That's that's in the citizenship test, really? actually. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, they, they say, are French people allowed to watch network television? <laughs> On occasion, CBS. No, no but he, he's, he, was, he wasn't a French citizen. He's back in, uh, oh. you know. Yes, he's back in France. Right. And, uh, uh, but anyway, I just, and, um, oh, what happened? Well, you're... Oh, but anyway, you're, they, yeah, they all sort of, you know, chose, chose me. You, yeah. And now I figured that since the first guy, my first husband, Welch, was the best choice... Right. Um... What, maybe I'd better go back to choosing, choosing for one. myself. Yeah, well, what are you going to choose then? Uh, hmm? That's what I'm asking. <laughs> if, if you're looking for one to choose, let the gentleman know. Oh, maybe right. one or two nearby. What you're looking for? Um, well, are you, are you auditioning? <laughs> I... <laughs> Look. No, let's, let's get our cards on no, the table. No. Let's get our cards on the table. I'm a guy. You're Raquel Welsh. Yes, of course I'm a guy. No. <laughs> You've seen this from men before, I, I, I'm sure. Well, uh, uh, does, it get, does it get boring for you? Well, I don't think it's boring at no. all. But, you know, it's, it's kind of that I... I, I uh, I've sort of given up with a much younger man thing. I, right. I don't think that that's a, a real good uh, idea for me to continue with. The, the <laughs> really? last one was 14 years younger than me, and you know, uh, yeah, wonderful man, but it was just not, no, just never, no. It was, right. So I, I feel that that's kind of like the younger guy is like a, an advertising thing. Everybody thinks it's going to be so fabulous because he's younger, mm. just like with a guy. Yes, yes. You see an older man, and he's got a fabulous, very hot chick mm. who's really much younger, and you think it's all really happening, and it, it's often not the case. <laughs> I mean, what, 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 what I'm saying is the advertising is no guarantee of what That's you're going to get. That's true. You don't true. Uh, you're looking at the box, it might be much smaller when you open it up. Yes, I do. <laughs> we are completely out of time. It's lovely to finally meet you. Raquel Wells, everybody. We'll be right back.